Hi everybody, it's Poppy. Going to run another little experiment with the uh, Sampu Express. I have two batteries I'm going to charge at the same time. One has 1234 and one has 12.36 volts. Now that's these two batteries here. The little worker battery and the motorcycle battery. And I've done a little work on the circuit. Not a whole lot, but some the uh, pot is now a 2.5K instead of the Radio Shack 5K. Still have the 10 transistors and a whole bunch of diodes and resistors on there. I have soldered my leads from my run coil and trigger coil. All of the coils are now attached to the board, so I could turn it upside down or I could mount it on the wall, whatever I wanted to do with it. Still using 15 run coils and one trigger coil. And I got it shut off right now. I'm going to start it and then we'll watch and see what the voltage does on this thing. Let it run for a couple minutes. And uh, I am using a 12 volt power supply instead of a battery this time. Okay, hopefully it'll go. Yep, it's powering up. And it's at its sweet spot. And now, just a few seconds it took to uh, start it and get over here. The worker battery is reading 12.81. The motorcycle battery is at 12.60. So this thing romps and stomps. We call it Sampu Express because it charges everything so fast. 15 run coils, one trigger coil. <clears throat> and I don't know if you noticed the lines that were on the rotor, but uh, I decided I was going to make this a little more precise. I got my protractor out and drew... Uh, 45 degree angles on that thing so that I could put eight neodymium magnets and then I covered it with two layers of the uh, aluminum tape that is probably the world's stickiest tape but it holds really good and then I drilled holes in the board and I used the nylon ties to hold the um, coils in place And I can uh, turn the pot now and this thing sounds like it's going to fly off of the table. It runs so fast. But I wanted you to see the uh, charging rate. <clears throat> now the worker battery is at about 13.05 and the uh, motorcycle battery is 12.91. I have connected a full wave rectifier from the circuit. I connected it to the start of the trigger coil and the start of the run coil. So I'm getting back EMF at the build and collapse of the fields on the run coil and the trigger coils. And I'm getting the normal output to the other battery, to the motorcycle battery. But there you have it. This thing just purrs like a kitten and charges like a dream. Look at here. We're now 13.067 and 13.07 on the motorcycle battery, and we're about four minutes. Enjoy. Good experimenting.